Hi there, I'm Jamie and I'm the Senior DevRel in Education here at N8N. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Google Surface account so you can use it with your nodes in N8N. You would usually use a Surface account when you want to access services like BigQuery or the most popular option, uh, Google Chat. You're going to need two things, a Google Cloud account and your N8N instance. If you followed along with my previous video for setting up Google OAuth, then some of these steps will have already been completed. Let's get started. First step is to create a Google Cloud Console project or use the one that you created in the previous video. To create the project, head over to cloud.google.com, click Start Free if you don't have an account or click Console if you do. From here on the top left, you've got the Project dropdown. Click on that, then click New Project. Name your project something useful and then click Create Project. I'm not going to do that because I already have an existing project. The next thing you're going to need to do is enable the APIs that you want to use. I'm going to be enabling this for the Google Chat. So click on the hamburger in the top left. Scroll down to APIs and Services, Enabled APIs and Services. Click on Enable APIs and Services. Search for Chat and then click Enable. That's the only API I'm going to enable, as that's what I'm going to demo. Now that the API is enabled, the next thing you want to do is create the service account. You can click on credentials on the left here. And in the bottom right, we have manage service accounts. Then you click on create service account. Give it a name. We'll make it nice and simple. Give it a description. Click create and continue. Permissions are optional. And if you need to restrict this account to a particular role, then you can do that. To find out more, you can click on Learn More to read the Google Docs. So we'll click Continue. Same with Principles with Access. That's an advanced feature and is not covered in this video. So click Done. And the service account is created. We have one more step. So let's go over to the N8N credentials to begin with. Let's create the credential. We want a service account. So what does it need? It needs an account, email, and a private key. So we come back over to the service account. And you click on the service account. That's the service account email. So we can copy that and paste it in. Now, the second thing we need to do is to get the private key. To get the private key, we first have to create it. So click on keys. On the add key dropdown, Select Create New Key, leave the default of JSON, and click Create. That'll automatically download or prompt to download depending on your browser. The last step is to get the private key from the JSON file that was downloaded. First thing we need to do is open it in our favorite text editor or IDE. That's up to you. I'm just going to open it in text edit. Let's make this slightly bigger. And so here we have this private key field here. What we need to do is we need to copy everything inside of the double quotes, but not the double quotes themselves. So then we can come over to paste the private key in. Let's rename this to service account and click save. There you have it. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what the next video should be and I'll do my best to build it. Until next time, Happy flow gramming.